guys, I am back in the dash here. I got my digital dash out. So I made all these temporary connections just to see how the dash is going to work. So now I'm going to come in today. I'm going to cut all this. I'm going to solder it. Yes, I'm cutting the factory harness. I don't care if this car is not going anywhere. And if it does, it's going to have the digital dash, so they won't need any of it anyway. But you can tell where it's been uh, wrecked before. All this needs to come up to there i mean it's it needs a lot of work so um yeah i would love to get a plastic welder and kind of try to fix some of that but right now i'm worried about the wiring so i'm going to get um these cut and soldered and them cut and soldered get everything um hopefully fixed the way it can so one's for fuel um brights left signal right signal and then I have to make a jumper harness, which I've covered in another video, on this side. So on this side right here, as I explained, there's a 500 ohms resistor in this. So you see it runs through here. Well, that goes to the light bulb. If the light bulb burns out, this, is an, this path is uh, not completed. So the resistor is there. In case the light bulb burns out, it can still charge the alternator. Well, I don't have a light. And I don't have a resistor, so my alternator will not charge. So I bought a pack of 500 ohms resistors. I'm going to install them. Um, don't know what pins to use. Uh, somebody said 7 and 14. Somebody said 2 and 14. Regardless, it's got to be a power side and then the uh, 14 side. So um, easiest thing to do would be to like hold this up. This is number 14, which is going to be this top one. So if we go one and then down one that's the second pin and that's a big steady uh, power wire so probably be uh that's what they use two and 14. so that's probably where i'm going to do the jumper harness for the uh 500 ohms resistor all right so i got these two soldered in um solder still a little warm so i didn't cinch it all the way up so now i can go to this side and then i can also jump um 14 and 2 to each other so that way um, the alternator will charge again that is a 500 ohms resistor but it can range from like 470 to 520 or something like that where uh, it'll make your alternator charge without overpowering and burning out your alternator so. so this is the pack I got off of Amazon these are 510 ohms at half watt and uh, you can't just buy one, so there's a hundred of them in here. So if I ever have this issue, yeah. So diodes, uh, as far as I know, are directional. These are resistors. They are not directional. It does not matter what side goes to what. It just has to be in line. So now I'm going to wire this in and go from there. So two solder guns down. I don't know what's going on. Couldn't get it to work. Worked fine over here. Get over here. Couldn't get it. So I just put the uh, the heat shrink connectors on there. It's got solder in it. So I made sure it was melted. Here it is going from uh, 14 to 2. As you can see the power. And I just jumped it with this. So that's all it is. And then um, I'm going to let it cool. And then I'm going to slide this heat shrink over it. And uh, let it get some... Uh, coverage because it's bare right there but that's 500 ohms resistor all right i did one other thing can y'all tell yeah i painted my eye you see um it was just it was very weird color and it just kind of stood out like a sore thumb so painted it black put a bbk sticker on it for some reason i don't know why i just felt like the thing to do bbk don't even make iacs but it looks good, in my opinion, because it's white, blue, red, like that. But yeah, so now I get to start up the car and see if it's going to uh, charge. Three days later. All right, well, it is a few days later. Um, basically, I was going to start the car and see if the alternator is charging, and um, the TPS wasn't working, so... I checked the voltage and the voltage says it's getting five volt source. So now I'm going to do a test to see if the, um, the throttle position sensor itself is, um, putting out a reference signal. So basically the more pedal you give it, the more the voltage changes. 
So I'll show you all that real quick. So it's your power. That's your ground. This is your reference. So you put the positive on that, ground the negative somewhere, and open the throttle and see what the voltage is. It should range. I think it's uh, like around 0.8 um, normal to all the way up to um, 3.0 at wide open throttle. So somewhere in that range. But basically, I'm just going to check and see if it's getting any voltage at all right now. All right. So I can't hold that open that everything and record at the same time but basically it was saying that my throttle position sensor was good which i thought it would be weird for it to just go out but i don't know um someone told me to unhook my terminator x completely and then hook it back up a few minutes later it's been like i don't know 20 something hours so let's see if that did anything all right let's go with the, the issue i have turn the key Turn off the radio. It says TPS needs an auto reset. Okay. Wizards. TPS start. Push it down slowly. Release slowly. Do it twice. And then press next. There was not successful. Since that is a 20 something year old throttle position sensor, um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace it. Let's see if that helps. All right, the old one is off, the new one is on. If this does not work, I'm changing that connector. I'll put spade connectors or something. I know a lot of people have mentioned having issues with that connector. Um, I believe I have a three prong one from Nitrous Express that should work a lot better. So we'll see how it goes. Moment of truth. Says it was successful. So we're gonna done. Monitors, multi-gauge, uh, nope. sensors. TPS is reading 5% for some reason, but let's see if I push down the pedal. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna do another one. Just because if you go to, you go to the monitors, um, not, what am I doing? Got a multi gauge and look at the sensors, it says it's at 4% still. So we're gonna home wizards TBS reset, make sure that's good. All right, and then all the way down, all the way back, all the way down, all the way back. It says it's successful. Monitors, multi gauge sensors, saying 1%. So sometimes it takes two or three times to get it to 100%, reset to zero. See, when I snap the pedal back, it did it. So it might be just some kind of stick in there, but looks a lot better. All right, I've done multiple resets. It reads every time, it reads pedal to uh, floor all the way down. So wide open throttle. So, I mean, we're we're good to go. I'm gonna see about starting this thing up and seeing how uh, seeing how it's gonna do. It's a little loud, but uh, TPS is still reading one percent. I gotta keep messing with that. But I just want to show y'all my battery charging at fourteen three right now, so we're good to go. That's all I cared about. I can fix it some other time. Um, it's cold, so obviously it's idling high. But uh, yeah, we'll get that TPS position uh, fixed. I don't even know if y'all could hear me, um, basically, but it showed that it was uh, charging. The TPS is still showing 1% for some reason. Now it shows zero, but when I started, it's... So, sometimes it takes a few times of uh, getting that reset. I had one of them daggum stinging caterpillars on my leg. All right, shows us at zero. Automatically goes to one. Alright, after a little bit of adjusting, where are we got? I've still not up the temperature, obviously, so. Sometimes I forget how good this sounds. My jam. 
Sounds like a daggum galloping horse for sure. Oh, so excited. Big relief off my chest. Batteries charging, cars running. It does not, before when I'd rev it, it'd make like a brrr, like a stutter and uh, it ended up being like spark plug wires and I changed them and it still had like a little hesitation. It don't have that now. I mean, as soon as I press it, it jumps. So um, I'm guessing that was an issue all along. It was just slowly dying. And I guess when I replaced the, uh, or took off the intake, put the spacer on and stuff, it just had enough. And maybe got banged or um, something. I don't know. But the new throttle position sensor fixed the issue. So like I said, it's very easy. You take the one wire off. It don't have to be from the Holly side. Take it off from the, uh, the uh, sensor side because the sensor sending signal back telling it how much it's open and closed. So uh, there's no power going to that wire. It's leaving that wire. So keep the um, outside ones, the power and the ground in the middle wire. You pull it out and probe it on the sensor side and see if it, you know, varies. Um, pretty much like any other sensor, I felt stupid because I'm like, I'm thinking it's something deeper like in Holly. My mind automatically goes to, oh my God, I'm going to have to buy a whole new ECU because something's wrong. It, it's it wasn't that bad it really wasn't i was writing my tuner and he's telling me and i'm like like you know like you would diagnose anything else he's like yeah pretty much i'm like oh shit. like i said i'm going straight to man i'm gonna have to get a whole new terminator x ecu because something went out not the case so I'm very excited about that so subtle changes under the hood got things running how it should uh, so it not be long. I should be driving around. There's a few other little things I want to do like the control arms and stuff um, It's just getting everything lined up spring break was uh, pretty hectic and uh, Had some family emergencies things like that that you know took time um, I do have a project that I'm looking at that's not gonna take a lot, but uh Apparently I didn't tighten that front drain bro uh, bolt all the way so it's been dripping and I can spin the washer around. So I didn't do a very good job of that. So I need to tighten that down and make sure I don't lose all my oil. But everything's looking great. I do have to do another uh, fuel pressure reset because I changed the pump and it's about 10 to 12 PSI higher than what it was with the old pump because the old pump was failing and it was just, it was doing its best, man. It really was. So got that. And uh, like I said, I got a amp coming, or an amp that's already here from Recoil. It's a slightly upgraded amp, but uh, in my mind, a, a better amp. Um, you'll see why when I do the install, but um, I had to fix the alternator charging issue before I could obviously run sound and test the sound because the battery would die right away unless I had it on a trickle charger. A lot of people are against having everything hooked up like Terminator X while it's on a trickle charger because sometimes... You can backfeed and you can mess up your holly. So, didn't want to take that chance. But, uh, yeah, huge shout out again to KMJ for reminding me about that little uh, resistor. And uh, huge uh, thank you to Mike Pine for helping me with uh, diagnosing that TPS. Um, like I said, way overthinking it. Very simple, like you would do anything else. Does it have power going in? Is it grounded? And is the sensor sending voltage out? That's all there was to it. Turns out um, these sensors are only good for about 30-something years, I guess. Who knew? One thing I did want to discuss, um, if you're having issues with any of this and you order a new sensor, it'll come with this plug, like the original Fox plug. It's got this thing in the middle. You just take a screwdriver, and uh, that couldn't happen again if I tried. Um, you pry that out and then you can pull the wires out and then you just push them in there. It's best to put the rubber grommets on first and then push it in. Don't try to put the grommets in the plug and then try to push the wire through it. Don't ask me how I know it's a pain in the rear, but there we go. What do you guys think? This really wasn't supposed to be the journey that it turned into be, but uh, I appreciate y'all staying and watching. Uh, if you made it this far, leave a random comment that makes no sense at all. Cupcakes, spaghetti, ice cream, some food related because I'm fat. Guess my favorite food. How about that? If you guess my favorite food, I'm going to hook you up with something. If you made it this far and you put in the comments what my favorite food is, I'm going to send you something. Golly. Why don't y'all tell me I had that? 
Man, I'm honker on my head. Jeez. Can't trust y'all to tell me anything. Turn around, I done made it this far. Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart. I'll shoot for the stars even when it gets hard. Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars. I won't turn around, I done made it this far. Look back now, that wouldn't be too smart. I'll shoot for the stars even when it gets hard. Put my faith in the Lord with the 60 bars. I won't turn around. I won't.